Hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. Tonight we're returning, we're starting a brand new game. Just came out today on Epic Game Store. Before we leave, uh, this is a, a peaceful, mostly, uh, city builder uh, where your colonists, the story will start in a minute, but your colonists come up out of a bunker after generations of being in a bunker and have to reinvent technology and eventually, or rediscover technology at least, and eventually leave the planet and colonize the solar system. But that's enough spoilers. So I want to thank Brace Yourself Games for the game key. And I want to also uh, comment that uh, this music is, is awesome. You heard a little bit of it during my countdown. And now we're hearing a little bit more of it here at the main menu. I hope the sound is okay, by the way. Let me know if the sound is okay. Uh, but um, by composer Benedict Nichols, it's 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 an amazing score. Um, I'm really I've really been enjoying it as I've been getting ready for the stream. So uh, this is effectively a blind playthrough. I haven't played more than like two or three minutes, honestly, just to get a hand for what the controls are and whatnot. Um, I have watched a little bit of Let's Play on YouTube. Uh, once again, Caladorn and Catherine and Catherine Sky have uh, both been playing it, and I did watch a little bit of both of their series. But um, even having watched it, you, as, as I'm sure many of you know, you can't really get a feel for uh, what a game really is until you play it. Um, so, uh, without too much more, we're going to actually get started, and I want to start with the tutorial. Um, we can obviously pick some of the other settings here as well. Uh, well, we could have picked some of the other settings here as well, but I want to make sure that we play this game um, like we did uh, the last, like we've done before with the, with other games. Is start from the beginning, start from the tutorial, and see exactly how the game is supposed to be played, what what we're supposed to do, what after the other kind of thing, and go from there. Um, so. This game, I, I'm almost positive this game's not early access. This is this is a full release now. Um, if anybody's watching who knows differently, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, So here, when you pick the tutorial, you only have two settings you can choose. The number of planets in the system, and then you can set a game seed. And I'm just going to let it pick this random this random seed that it just picked. If I, if I close this again and go back in, it should have picked a different seed. I guess it didn't. It, this is a different number than it was when I played it before uh, for two or three minutes and then five planets I have no idea if that's good or not. So we'll start with that Okay, so let's get started In bygone times humanity descended into bunkers to escape a galactic disaster Oh, well, I guess I can't read the whole thing <laughs> Okay, it's finally time after so long your peeps have emerged from their underground shelter and are on the surface again Hold down the right mouse button to move your mouse around your new home and zoom in and out with the middle mouse button. So this is a hexagon based game. It's also a sphere of hexagons. And if you know anything geometry related, actually let's pause this for a moment. If you know anything geometry related, you know that you can't have a sphere of hexagons. So there actually are some pentagons and I think I read in their uh, discord that it's actually, or like their FAQ or whatever, that it's actually, there's actually 12 pentagons in order to make it be a sphere of hexagons otherwise. And actually, there's one right there. So they're all allegedly like underwater or in other places where it doesn't matter as far as building buildings. So, but we're going to go ahead and get started and un un unpause here. I also wanted to point out that the, even the clouds are hexagons, as you can see, which I find highly amusing. Okay, so we've moved the camera. You can also move the camera with the right mouse button here. And you can zoom in and out with the scroll wheel, and I think plus and minus as well. Let's, your, let's get your peeps settled in by building some roads and huts. All buildings must be placed next to an existing road. Once you're done with building, you can right-click to cancel the building you have selected. Okay, so we need to build a road. And let's see, I, I really don't know, but uh, I'm going to build maybe my way this way. You need to build at least three roads. That's that's what they define as a short road. I learned that when I played this far in the tutorial before. And then we really just need to build three houses here somewhere. 
Um, I have no, once again, idea of what's a good place to build a house or a hut. So I'm going to build that. Let's zoom in here. The peeps look like uh, look like little people from from uh, Fisher Price, which I find amusing as well. Um, they are oh, great. While the shelter slowly produces food and water, you'll need more and fast. Okay. Now we need to build two potato fields and a well. So let's see. Uh, where would be a good place to build potato fields? Maybe over here would be a good place to build potato fields. Like here and maybe there and then a well. Uh, maybe there. And they'll go about it and do their do the do the work there. So there's also uh, a limit on the number of peeps we can have on the house on the island versus the available housing. Each house can handle two people, and I think two of them live in the shelter. Not sure. Now you need to build a woodcutter to get materials for your buildings. Place near some trees to get the wood faster. Okay. So let's build a woodcutter. Hey, Fazian. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put it here. There's trees there and trees there, so that might be a good place for a woodcutter because then they can walk the short distance to the adjacent tiles. Uh, and then I can continue the road along this way somewhere. And these trees aren't too far away either if if the uh, woodcutter wants to go there too. There are also uh, shortcut keys on some of these um, on some of these commands here. Escape gets you to the menu. X for demolish. R for road. And then one, two, three, etc. for the um, for the different menus here for building. Now that your village is set up, it's time to think about a bigger bigger goal: exploring the world on a ship. We're going to need some stone for that. Use the demolish tool to cut down trees and access the stone beneath them. Select the demolish tool and click the trees you want to remove. Demolishing force is hard work, so they have to wait while your peeps get the job done. Okay, well let's maybe demolish the forests that are here on the edges of the world. Where are you are you going? Yeah. Okay, so that's cool. You can click on them to see their uh, their little path lines and that'll tell you where they're where they're headed, where they're gonna do some work. Troy can eat a whole pumpkin in thirty seconds. Troy's working at a woodcutter. What else do we have? Rusa. Can't shake the feeling there's someone watching. Rusa's working at a woodcutter. Irene, won a trophy for procrastination. Didn't show up for the ceremony. <laughs> Irene is unemployed. Okay, so we demolished two trees. So we need to demolish one more. Sorry, let's demolish one more. I'm starting to read people's people's bios here. And Samuel prefers the company of birds and foxes. Samuel's going to work at a forest. It'd be kind of nice if you could change their names. Not that. I need to change the names, but then I could name them after people watching and whatnot. You're going to need tools to build your ship, amongst other things. There's an ancient metal device nearby that, according to the legend, can turn one thing into another. Perhaps it can help. Okay, so we'll build some roads maybe uh, out here. I guess I didn't need to build the last one. Transmoga fire. What does this button do? <laughs> So, let's see. Low priority, normal priority, high priority. Pause the building. Focus on the building. And then this button converts 15 wood into 5 tools. And it takes a worker, so Elliot's going to work at the, at the transmogrifier. <laughs> Elliot tells stories that amuse the village. So up here we have six lumber, or six wood rather, and it's increasing. We have eight tools, and they are steady. And we have four stone, which is steady. The only way to get a hold of the um, stone is by d destroying trees. That's going to be not a good thing. So hopefully... Ooh! 
Speaking of ancient, your peeps need help relearning the ways of their ancestors to survive. Build an explorer's hut to gather items from heaps of ancient technology, and build a library to help them learn and remember. Okay, maybe I will build a road out this way a little bit. To have a place to to go. And here's the explorer's hut. Um go there. And then the library, I probably should put somewhere near the middle of town here. Okay, here's the speed controls. That's good. We'll probably need those later. So this is the ancient technology. And it has 29 green technology in it. This is also ancient, te ancient technology, but it's just 34 green technology in it. More green. More green. A highland. Grass. What are these? That's oh, just says grass. That's a forest. That's a ruin generator. I'm assuming we're going to be making one of the, making that work in a little while. Okay, so the explorer is apparently doing their thing here. Great, you have the foundation of a bustling village. Why don't you take a look around the island and try building more things for your peeps? Okay. So more, more forest, more green technology. That's about it. There's some crap up here on the highland. A mountain. Huge remnants of the ancients can be mined for stone. Okay. That'll be good. It's time to hit the books. Now that your peeps have access to that library you just built, they'll need to research how to gather stone and other minerals. They can't repair the ship without them. Stone is an important resource. It needs to be mined from the mountains and the highlands. But first we need to reach it. Research elevators and then build one against the cliff. Don't forget to use the transmogrifier to make more tools if you're running low. And okay, well, we're doing okay on tools. We probably will need an, another uh, wood gatherer, forester, whatever they're called, lumberjack, woodcutter. And it looks like we're going to probably need some more stone pretty soon. Okay, so let's go here to the library and we will hit the science button and return. do the research on elevator. Allows the construction of elevators to allow peeps to move between levels. Okay, that looks like that'll take a minute or so. Probably just depends on how fast they collect it. Hey, Mushi. Welcome to the stream. Yes, you should sleep, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> What's that? A resource cache. It contains one stone. Can I collect that? How do I collect that? I don't know. Good, how are you? I'm super excited to play this game. I started even a few minutes early. Okay, and then we need to construct an elevator against a cliff. So we'll go here, and an elevator. And I think this cliff will work good. Or well. Uh, that way it's, con it's close to that road. We can also go in here if we want to build some stuff back here. Maybe another woodcutter or something. Oh, they really are chopping down the trees over there. Nice. Now that you can reach the highlands, you need to work out how to get your peeps to mine that stone. Yeah, this is... A, I, I, I really like the look and feel of this game. I, um, I really wanted to play it. So let's build a... Just build a road here somewhere. Actually, I should probably go this way. Maybe I'll demolish that one. And build the... Uh, oh, we need to research mining first, I guess. That would work. Mining. Ten research. Research it. Oh, 
Um, I've played more like six minutes. <laughs> um, I played about two minutes before I started the stream. And I've been streaming now for less than 15. So, yeah. Uh, no, I, 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 I watched a little bit of Caladorn's playthrough. I watched a little bit of Catherine's playthrough. And, uh... And and I already knew this, you know, about this game that it was coming and whatnot. And uh, after I watched a little bit of each of theirs, I was I was I was definitely sold. Like this was this was the game I wanted to play. Oh, I know what that stone is. That stone is this stone. We don't have anywhere to put it, except maybe in the bunker or something. So we it's just left out on the ground until we need it. All right. Come on, research. There you go. Time to build your stone quarry. The quarry must be placed next to a mountain as well as a road. The quarry is also a building that pollutes its local area. Lovely. Pollution affects how happy your peeps are and how efficiently they work. Choose where you place your buildings that produce pollution wisely. Okay, well, let's see what... What does this tell us about the pollution? It gives us a nice purple border. Um, those trees are a little little rough, but I think that'll be okay. Um, it needs to be adjacent to the mountain anyway, and I want to take out this mountain. So, or, yeah, 500 stone. I guess that would take it out. Yeah, that's what's nice. There's one thing that's nice about Twitch. You don't have to add to get the name in the browser or whatever, but it's it's nice that it's available. Okay, building the quarry. Let me kick it up to medium speed here. Just because I usually like to play games on middle speed. Uh, what's going on? You need stone to make stone? I don't know. Okay. Apparently not. Now that your peeps are mining stone, you're well on your way to setting sail and discovering unseen lands. To find them, you'll need to repair ancient devices to make that old ship on the coast seaworthy. Okay. You should click on the old ship, by the way. So we need lots of wood, lots of tools. We need to make some more tools, by the way. Lots of stone, food, drink, and some unknown resource. Lovely. Unknown resources. Okay, repair. I should also probably build another woodcutter. Maybe I'll continue this road this way. Uh, like that. Ish. And then I can build a woodcutter. There. Hey, Devion. Welcome. This is not really a god game. It's more like, um, if you ever played like Caesar or, um, it's, it's just, uh, I don't know. Even it's, you know, got some, some aspects of even like, um, like a dwarf fortress kind of a descendant, uh, room world or oxygen included or something like you, you give people jobs to do, they do them kind of thing. Excellent. Repairing the ship is going to take a lot of peeps and resources. Make your village bigger to support the work that needs to be done. Okay, that means build more houses. I think maybe I'll build houses out here. Um, I thought I remembered hearing someone say something about... Buildings being adjacent to each other or something boosts performance boosts. I hear it air. So the um, the the potato farms uh, they get a bonus for being nearby a field. But they are a field. So that's weird. Uh, bonus from being next to an accommodation. Bonus from being next to a well. Slowed by pollution. And. Requires the island have the potato fertility. Okay. 
The house here. Let's pause the game just for a minute. Um, yeah, I mean, it definitely gives you the kind of the Civ feeling with the hex with the hex map. That's for sure. Especially if you played Civ Four and later, is that when they switched to hex map? Um, uh, as I pointed out at the very beginning, uh, it is a sphere of of hexes, which is geometrically impossible. So they compensated by adding a few pentagons. I think there's 12 um, over the course of the whole map. But yeah, it definitely has that that sieve look because of the hexagons. Okay, so uh, the house has this house has a bonus because it's so maybe if you put houses next to each other, yeah, it looks like if you put houses next to each other, they get bonus from each other. That must be what the field bonus is too. And then. If they're nearby a field and a well, they get plus one food and plus one drink storage. Interesting. Okay. Let's build some more houses. I'm going to unpause again. House. Let's see. Maybe we can go like here and then build a road like this. And then go back into the house menu. And there. And maybe we'll just do two for right now. <laughs> well, uh, sleep well, Muji. Thanks for stopping by. We need to be able to support 25 peeps. I just noticed that there is an actual goal there. So maybe uh, one more house. Well, let's see. Can you tell how much water this will f this will take care of people-wise here? So you don't want... The house to be near, or the well to be near houses. Interestingly, you don't want it to be near animal fields, and you don't want it to be in pollution. Okay, so we will. It doesn't say though how much water a well provides. Oh, we need tools. Make some tools. I need to keep remembering to transmog tools. <laughs> um, and even the potatoes. It doesn't really say how many potatoes it produces. So I guess we just... And I don't really even see... Oh, well, there's happiness. We have idle workers. So we need more, more, more workplaces here. Okay, there's our tools getting made. And then we have to wait for a cooldown, apparently, after that. Research. Islands Fertilities. Food and drink. Okay. So we are consuming more than we are producing right now. We have we had some stored up, but we need to produce some more food. So we want our food to be... Wait, how much pollution did this make? We want our food to be near the houses. We want our wells to not be near the houses. Let's make uh, some food here, maybe. Yeah, I think I'll leave that area behind the houses that are empty because of the pollution. couple of food and then looks like the water is actually maybe holding steady but I'm not going to replace that well yet or add another well yet okay let's make some more tools okay we're up to 18 peeps now can put in some more housing here and then maybe here and here. And then I can... I think I'll wrap this road around. And make it like a nice little... Uh, nice little city block there. Okay, we are... Well, we need to, we need to get our population up. We'll have 27 peeps when this is all said and done. I think you'd run into more six-way intersections in real life if we built on hexagonal uh, city plans. It's like that's like asking how many four-way intersections you would run into building on a square grid plan. Yeah, we have some. We have a couple of five-way intersections and by nearby where I work, which is really weird, but uh, not very many six-ways. Wow, your peeps are accumulating a lot of stuff. 
Let's research and build a warehouse to store those surplus resources in. Note that warehouses require two tiles for construction. Okay. So let's research the warehouse. Warehouse research. We've accumulated a lot of uh, science in the time. And we're going to run out of water. No, apparently. Oh, look. Somebody's having a party here. Look at that. Yep, they're called peeps. Okay, so now we got to reconstruct a warehouse. Let's see, maybe... Can I get it to go into there? There we go. I think that's a good place for a warehouse. And we definitely need a well now. Let me build it down here. Let me put the road in. I can build the well down here. Or... Yeah, I, gotta, I will, but I have to be careful because I need to make sure that I don't put the next uh, quarry where it can pollute. Which I wouldn't want it nearby this edge anyway. But it's fine. Make sure you select the resources you want to store in your warehouse or it won't store anything. One very important thing to know. Warehouses and later on ports evenly divide their available storage space amongst the resources selected to be stored. So the more types or resource, or re, the more types or resources you store, the less of each of those resources is stored in the warehouse. Okay. So I think we'll start here with maybe food and drink. Uh, that gives us that gives us sixty per each of of warehouse space. Uh, looks like we're having trouble with keeping up on the wood cutting, so let me see if I can put in another uh, forester here. Woodcutter person. The end goal is to well, first of the first goal is to fix this boat, uh, and then sail around the world and discover other islands and then spoiler alert the next goal is to fix a rocket and sail into space uh, and colonize four other planets I'm assuming it's the it said five planets so I'm assuming that it's four other planets besides this one in your system and then from there I don't know <laughs> I don't know if you can go to another. I need to. Oh, three warehouse, three resources for the warehouse to store. Fine, there. You're so close to repairing the ship. You'll need a better source of tools than the transmogrifier. Time to find some time to find some iron in the highlands. Okay, so that's our rusting hulk. Uh, we need to research metalwork here, and then we'll need to build a road. Well, you already have a road there. I can just build the um, iron mine right there. Yeah, it has like a little bit of a Catan feel too. Though I, I agree with you. Um, I've only played Catan for like a few minutes, but uh, well, more than a few minutes, but only a couple times, I guess. So I don't have a whole lot of Catan experience, but it, it looks like Catan with the with the tiles and stuff like that. How's the research going? Almost done. All right, now we can do an iron mine. That's going to pollute, but it's going to pollute the same tiles kind of as as the uh, stone the stone quarry is. So that's fine. Who cares? Uh, let's transmog some more tools. Well, maybe because no one else likes sheep. that. Oh, that's another uh, Rusting Hulk. We have three of those. And we have three sources of stone, it looks like, total. Alright. To process the iron into tools, you need an iron smelter and a toolsmith. They're special buildings that require power. Fortunately, your peeps have found an old generator near town. Repair the ruined generator, then build your iron smelter and toolsmith. You need to continue to make tools with the transmogrifier until this is all set up. 
Okay, so that's a polluting building, which I built a f field, a potato field, in the pollute, in the pollutant area, the polluting area. So we need to, we have to remove this. Uh, but let's build a road out there first. Huh? Maybe we'll go this way. I want to go out there because of the ships here. It needs a road anyway. Uh, so we need to repair the rune generator. And I want to take this field out and find another place to put it. Maybe out here would be good. Uh, what are you complaining about here? Uh, let's see. Turns iron ore into iron. Creates tools from iron and wood. Okay. Let me turn off that, by the way. I want to put another warehouse in up here someplace, but I also want to put in those... I think I want to put the iron smelter, because it pollutes like crazy. Oof. Does that pollute like crazy? That's going to mess up that other field I've got going over there. Of course. Smelt there. Uh, I want to put it there because I want to... Maybe I'll put it down here and put a road in. Yeah, let's do that. Road there. And then the tool maker goes here. And then maybe I can put another warehouse in. Warehouse is that? No? Here? Yes. I can put a warehouse in right here. Oh, that's called, um... We used to play that in college. That's an insane game. <laughs> Make some more tools here. And I need to get rid of this field. And move it somewhere else. Maybe out here would be okay. Yeah, we used to play that when I was in college. Uh, the insane people that I went to college with owned it. And uh, yeah, that's quite the crazy game. Okay, so we need lots more tools. Lots of more tools. Transmog and the tools here. There you go. And we're running low on stones. So we're going to need some more stone. And we're really running low, or really uh, diminishing our wood supply. So I'm going to have to put, it, put up another forester out here. Uh, maybe I can put it out in this area someplace here. Let's see. Hmm, your peeps are becoming unhappy. They're working hard and dealing with pollution from some of your buildings. Unhappy peeps will move and work more slowly, so it's definitely worth keeping their spirits up. Check their happiness by selecting an individual peep, by clicking the details button above and selecting peeps. Okay, let's build that road that I wanted to build before you interrupted me. And then, one way to help your peeps stay happy is to give them better food and drink. Let's plant some vegetables and grow some tea. Later on, you'll also be able to grow orchards, but they need a different climate to the one this island has. Let's continue my road that I wanted to build. Thank you. So we need to research gardening. I hear somebody throwing a party again. That way we can grow the vegetables and the tea. Okay, you finished the warehouse. That's good. We want to put in here maybe tools. Uh, and maybe... Maybe iron. I got a little Irish jig kind of music going on there. And I wanted to put a forester out here someplace. Maybe here would be a good place for one. Oh, is that here? I'll learn the controls eventually. That's kind of three tiles that are real close. That's good for a forester. Another one would be good right here. You can also build houses and stuff up on, on top of the highlands. I don't think you can build food stuff, but you can build houses and stuff up there. Definitely going to want a road going... That's an ugly place for a mountain. Thank you, Autogen. 
plant two vegetable fields. So, a uh, vegetable field gets... Let me pause. A bonus from being next to a field. Bonus from being next to an accommodation. Bonus from being next to a well. Low uh, pollution production slow, and then it requires the island to have vegetable fertility. And what about tea? Field bonus. Accommodation bonus. Well bonus. And the tea fertility, and of course pollution. Okay, well, I think I'll just build uh, maybe the tea here, and the vegetables here. And unpause. Yeah, I remember the uh, shouting matches from Pit very well. Okay, so where's that happiness thingy again? Thought that was it, but... Is there another thing? Oh, we need to build more... We need to build more houses. Well, that's what this part of the island would be good for. Let's see, I can... Oh, finally, have everything you need to repair the old ship. Okay. Let's repair the old ship. Uh, we don't really have the tools, but we can make... We're making the tools. Uh, we have not quite enough stone either, but we'll make that. Uh, food, drink, and power. Oh, okay. Power was the hidden resource. Let's uh, build an... Did we just build a forester here? A woodcutter here? Yes. I think I'll build one maybe right in here. Let me build a road going this way. And then build another woodcutter and some more... Uh, houses out here. We're going to need some housing. Or huts, I guess. Hutting. There. Then maybe a road going this way. I think I'll make that like a dead end. And then I can come this way with the road and build another house in there. 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 And then one there. We're doing on... food, water, vegetables, fruit, and tea. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're complaining because they don't have enough workers. I can also build a little bit of something back in here. That'd be a good place to put fields with the well being here. I guess I should have thought of that one. I just can't build on this tile with the fields because of the pollution. Oh. Wood storage with empty tiles. That's convenient, too. So it, it's using the nearby tiles as storage space for the wood that is burning to generate power. Interesting. The stone is still a problem. I would really like to figure out how to get... Well, I guess I could just build, like, the, uh, the quarry there and then access... I don't really need access down here for anything but that rusting hulk. And I'd have to get that through a different way anyway. So maybe I build a... What are we doing on jobs here? Hold on. Now we have idle workers. I built too many houses. Okay, let's do a quarry here. Some more workers working. Spread out the storage a little bit there. Are 
are we doing on the repair? Almost done. Nice. Just the last little bit. And it's done. Your peeps are sailing again, and they have so much to explore and learn. Try colonizing a new island and seeing what else is out there to discover. Okay. So we need to explore. Can't leave one square un uncovered. Air shimmers from the heat. Your ship has discovered a new island, but there's no lush grass to be found here. It's desert as far as the eye can see. You've heard that ancient humans once buried treasure in places like this, but you doubt any remains. You can you can grow nearly anything here, but only on the fertile green tiles. Peeps that travel too far from the village will get fatigued. It's hot out there. They'll need appropriate clothing to prevent that. Okay. Do we want to settle this island? Oh, you discovered a ruined spaceship. A relic of a bygone age. Your peeps investigating the spaceship wreckage think they'll be able to fix it up, given time. Soon you could be sailing the stars as the ancients once did. Okay, close those. I'm guessing we want to uh, colonize here. Do I build it like this, I guess? I think I'll face it this direction. You discovered a new kind of ancient technology. It was once used to connect the entire planet. Gather it with your explorers to unlock new secrets of the ancients. We've done it. Your peeps have colonized a new island. Life here is precarious, so we'll need to rely on the first island for support. Let's find a way to transport resources between islands. Okay. Let's see, we need to build an explorer on this island. Here. Laura's hut. Build a library on the new island. Well, let's see. Build a road first. Up there. And then... Uh, oops. Nope, this one here. Library. I kind of just tied myself into a knot, didn't I? I'll have to take out these trees. Demolish. And then research shipping on the new island. Okay. We have to wait for... No peeps. We have to wait for... How do we get peeps here, then? Do I need to build houses over here? Okay, so houses have to be built on green tiles. Yeah, we have to have people here to work. Okay. We'll build a house there. Uh, then we want to build a road. I can knock this stuff down here. Build a road that goes kind of that way-ish. Take this out as well. And this one. Build some more houses. We also need to build some farms. Oh, what do we have? Orchard. Nice. Ooh, fancy. Okay, let's maybe build this one. Can't build it there. We need to build a road first. Build a road there and then go this way. Orchard goes there, and then let's just do a regular well for right now. That okay? That also needs to be placed on a green tile. Okay. 
build the road back here, and then I can put the well there. Yeah, it has some interesting sound effects. Okay, so they're collecting the this uh this red technology. And then we need to do what was the thing we need to do shipping research. Probably need more houses. Uh, let's see, another house would be good right about here. And then I could put a road in that goes somewhere along this way. Maybe even exactly along this way. Take out this. So. Oh, here's a nice little graph. Ah, this is what I was looking for. So, on Island 2, which is where we're at now, uh, this shows us production and demand numbers for each uh, resource. Shows us all of our peeps and their happiness state, where they work, and then also shows us all of our buildings. If I go back over here to Island 1, our peeps are a little bit less happy. Uh, they work at crappy jobs, etc. To get shipping underway, you need to go back to your original island and build a port and a shipwright. Then you can make a trade ship to begin transporting resources. Okay. Can we build that up here? New shipwright. And what does the port look like? I think I'll put the port here and then build a road segment there and put the ship right next to it. How are we doing on supplies here? Vegetables could use some love. Can we put fruit on this island? No. We could use some more vegetables. I also could use more jobs, so that's a good thing. Go there, I think. Might put a road in between there. And this would be a real good spot for another forester if I need one. This is a busy elevator. So we should try to... Oh, look, the tiles are getting darkened from the pollution. That's awesome. I mean, awesome style. Like, these are polluted. Very polluted. Very polluted. Very polluted. No pollution. Slightly polluted. Very polluted. Nice. That's really cool, too. How are we doing? Building stuff? Workers' happiness drains slightly faster at a shipwright. Of course it does. Okay, so we need a trade ship. We'll build that. Uh, let's see, this also drains happiness slightly faster. It requires an adjacent ocean. They both do. Makes sense. You can't really build a ship or a port without an ocean nearby. Or, well, some body water. Doesn't have to be an ocean, I suppose. Are there any technology we can research here? No, we'll need we'll need the green research later when we can have combined ones, but it looks like we've done all the green solo researches. So, um... So how do we have idle workers... Oh, they're too hungry to work. We have plenty of potatoes. 
Have you tried looking for potatoes? I'm not sure why they're too hungry to work. We have... Yeah, that's weird. Oh, you can have children, too. Making the boat. Almost done. Good, good, good. Here we go. There are two ways to move resources between islands. Manually and using shipping routes. To set up a manual trade, move your trade ship next to a port, select the port, then click on the resources you want to load. Once the resources are loaded, select the ship and move it to your next port. You can then unload the resources from there. Well, that sounds tedious. Setting up a shipping lane is more involved, so let's go through that now. First, click on the shipping button that's appeared above the road button. Create a new shipping lane, choose the resources you want to send, and then drag from one port to another. Your new island needs tools. Let's send some over. Okay. So, we need to send... Click on the ship. No, wait, what did it say? Uh, here we are. Tools. And then ship down to there. Um, did I mess up? I probably messed it up. There we go. Hmm. I either mis misread or misremembered what the tutorial said. I thought it said to click on the resource. And then click and drag from one port to the other. But I can't click on the resource. Maybe the ship can't be there? Okay, is there a way to replay the tutorial? Because, like, that, that particular tutorial step. Any ideas? Is there a thing? I don't see a thing. Hmm. 
I don't want to transfer it. I want to create the shipping line. Maybe that's it. There we go. I clicked out of this this here. That's what did it. Okay. To get the shipping lane underway, the last thing you need to do is attach a ship to it. To do that, click on the little button in the middle of the shipping lane line. Okay. And great. You can also you can also get in here by clicking the big green button in the previous view. The last thing to do here is to add our ship to the shipping lane. Click the ship button and then click the ship and you're all done. Okay, we'll put the one ship we have in there and that's all done. Shipping lanes will run constantly transporting goods between islands. If you're just wanting to send a single delivery, it's easier to do that with a manual ship. If you want to delete a shipping lane, just remove all the resources from it and take and, and lane in its ships will be freed up. You can also edit the resources to make the ship leave a certain amount behind on the island or to only take a maximum total amount before stopping. To exit shipping mode, just close this panel and then click on the shipping button again or zoom the camera in. That's what I did. I zoomed the camera in. Your new island only has five colonists, which isn't very useful. You can expand your population by constructing a school, then building some empty huts. Note that you'll have to go back to your original island to research school, as that's where the green research is found. Okay, so we can close this and then we can zoom in. So we need to research school. Ah, here they are. That was construction of schools. We have unhappy workers here at the toolsmith, not surprising. speed back up to the second second level. What are they growing here? Pumpkins? Looks like it. So yeah, it looks like the people working at the crap jobs are the unhappy ones. Makes sense. So we may not be producing enough wood. Okay, now we need to construct a school. Must be here. Ah, there it is. Where do I want to put a school? I guess we'll build it down here someplace. Put our road in here. I think I'll put it there. Oh boy, a school has two spaces. Good thing I put, decided to put it in there. Except two whole spaces. Gotta have a playground. Or do they want us to build the school on the other island? That might be. What's not available? There's plenty of tools. And plenty of stone here. Another party going on over here. Oh, 
Oh, maybe they just haven't brought the stone there yet. That makes sense. Port is full. Okay. That's fine. Did I limit? Your peeps are wearing rags and they're not happy about it. New clothes will help them keep happy as well as removing the fatigue they suffer when they travel too far on desert islands. You'll need to research and build a number of things to get them in better clothing. First, we need to make glass. Okay, but what if I wanted to... Yeah, let's just take... Well, that's fine. But I want you to leave some potatoes behind. Leave, like, 20 behind. So let's see, where's glasswork research at? Glasswork is way over here. Okay, so we need, we can unlock the bridge here on this island. We can unlock power on the next island. On island two. Go ahead and do that. Need more workers here. That's we sh yeah. We need to build a school here, not where we did. Okay, let's look at the school. That might not be a bad place for a school. So that should give us more peeps on this island. Hopefully. And we need more housing here, of course. We don't have any wood, so we need to build another ship, or we need to add materials to this ship. Can we add materials to the ship? The route. Uh, no, I don't want to add a lane. I want to add an item. Uh, ship. But I'm going to leave 20 of those behind. And uh, tools as well. Okay. Okay, so the port is full of what? Food. Okay, let's set up a warehouse out here then. Uh, knock this thing down. Put the warehouse out here. That. A bridge. Oh yeah, we researched the bridge. Take out a couple of these broken down forests. See if we can get some wood out of that. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, good. Oh, but it needs to be... Not trunks, but actual wood. Okay. Then let me build. Can I build a forestry hut here? I can. Excellent. Okay, let's build this thing. Yeah, we're going to suffer on tools here in a minute. Philip never met a tree they wouldn't hug. Need to build another house here. Oops. Oh, the button that I wanted to click. Problem is, is we are short on... A little short on the wood. Oh, we can build the houses on sand tiles. Okay. 
Then I will build a house there. I know, they're fatigued. We're working on the clothing, relax. Let's kick up the priority on the woodcutter just to get some wood cut. I know the port is full. We happen to have a lot of potatoes here. housing. Is that a good place for a house? I suppose. Okay, so here I want to store food. And water. A little bit of each. 30 of each. That'll let them hopefully unload the port here a little bit. And then I can start unloading things like tools. What else do we have in the trade route? Right, wood. So we may not need the wood anymore. Let's see. Yeah, you probably don't need to bring that many potatoes each time. Let's change that number. Let's just bring 10 at a time. That's a lot of potatoes. How's the research going here? We research power. That's good. Which allows us the construction of wood power generators. And then glass work requires 20 of each. So we need to alter our shipping here. Shipping line. To bring back red research. Uh, we'll leave 20 just to be safe. We'll bring that back with you when you come back here. We're back to the main island. We'll do our research there on the main island for the combined stuff. There we go. Excellent. Okay. We come back over here now. Research available. Good. So now we can research glasswork, which allows the construction of sand mine and glass melter, which produce glass. Also allows the construction of the marketplace, where you can make luxuries to improve your peace mood. Glass melters spread pollution to surrounding tiles. Of course they do. Okay, so we're researching the glasswork. I think we'll build this on the other island, since that's where the sand is. Obviously. Maybe out here someplace. I should probably... Well, I should do a couple things. First thing I should probably do is... Uh, put up another warehouse. Um, let's see here. Go this way. And 
build a warehouse here. Chop down some of these things. We can put sand, or, uh, mine, and other thing out here. Oh, we also have a decent amount of rusting hulks and mountains up here, so that'll be good. Or we need tools and stone on this island. The other thing I should do is maybe build some roads out this way. Put some houses out here. So I want you to take in wood and stone. Okay, and then we can do a sand mine. So we have here a bridge, we can build bridges. If here a glass smelter, we'll get back to that in a minute. Here the marketplace, be good. And here's the wood generator. I'm assuming we need that to generate power for one or both of these. Go ahead and build the sand mine. Okay. Yes, I know it must face a road. I'm trying to figure out how best this goes. And then how about... Nope, it was here. How about the glass smelter? That pollutes a lot, so maybe that'd be best to be back here. Out of the way a little bit. Yeah, it overlaps with that tile, but that's okay. Okay, so let's build a road now here. And then... No. Here. And then... You need lots of stuff. We need to come up onto th up here so we can get over there and make the stone. Bring some stone with you here then too. Ready. We have one child and nine peeps. Definitely need more workers over here. So let's knock out some more of this stuff. What are we doing on food? Potatoes are okay. Water is sulfuring a bit. Not enough food, not enough uh, fruit either. I'll take this out as well. It puts another f uh, fruit farm in here. That'd be called an orchard otherwise. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Take this out. There's water. Why do you not get water? I don't understand.
Yeah, I know. We're low on stone. We're working on it. What's the other island doing as far as... We have plenty of water and plenty of tea. Okay. It's definitely this island. The problem. Since we have a little more stone, we can build the well. I didn't build that too close, did I? No, okay, good. Let's build the road through here, maybe. And then maybe I'll go up. go this way and I'll put an elevator in maybe right here yes I know they must be placed next to a road there we go An elevator. And then more road there. And then I can build a quarry up here. I need more people on this island, though. Still. Let me build a house out here, I guess. Actually, let me put a road right here. And then I can put two houses in right here. So now we should have a little bit of a surplus as far as workers go. And so now we can do a stone quarry right in here. That pollutes just a little bit, but it's all on the mountain, so I don't care. Work, work. I guess we have plenty of wood, we just don't have stone, which is not surprising. Since we're trying to make stone here. We need to get the ship to bring some in. We should ironically need stone in order to make a stone quarry. We also need tools. We have plenty of tools though, so bring the tools in. They're all in the dock, port. There you go. I know they're fatigued. We need to get the clothing going. We're working on it. Oh, we need to, uh, we need to power the glass smelter too. That would be good. Let's build a power structure. Where was that at? No, no, no. Wood generator. There we go. This pollutes a lot too. So maybe putting it like right there would be good. So we put in a little road right here. Come back out here. And build that. Luckily, that only needs wood and tools. 
Yes, I know the port is full. Now that we can make glass, we'll be able to construct more advanced buildings. Now on to making clothing for the peeps. Okay, so now we need to research clothing. We should be probably need to do the research over here. Clothing is here, which needs houses. Allows constructions of houses. Allows construction of houses which accommodate more peeps than huts. Yeah, that would be nice to have. Okay. And then we can research clothing. That's good, you can do a queue here. That's real nice. Okay, bring it on in. What are you complaining about? Not you. No resources available to the explorer's hut. There's no more red technology on this island? Apparently not. What are you complaining about? Low power. We need more wood? I don't know why you're low on wood. There's 60 in the warehouse. Okay. So, let's look see if we can make use of the bridge back here on the main island. Or the first island. But we'll need to make use of it if we want to get to this rusting hulk. Actually, not really. What are you doing here? We've researched houses, so let's take a look at the houses. Somewhere for your peeps to live. Stores food and drink for them to refresh themselves with. Peeps that don't have a job yet or can't get enough to eat or drink will wait here. Can we upgrade in place? It looks like we can. Nope, the tiles are occupied. Well, that's kind of annoying. So you have to knock down a house in order to build, or knock down a hut in order to build a house. Can you click upgrade? Houses can hold- yes, you can click upgrade. There we go. Okay, that's how you do it. So now, the three people who were living there, though, show up basically as homeless while, it ha while it's happening. So probably don't upgrade more than one at a time. But that's nice to know. First glass made. Nice. Okay, so we now have our house. And then we don't know what the next upgrade is. Uh, that gives us one extra... Two extra housing slots here. What else can we build? That's the bridge. That is the cotton field. Okay, so where can the cotton fields go? Probably here on the main island would be better. Because of its excessive amount of greenness and it has a little more space too. So maybe we kind of keep building this direction. We can put our cotton fields and such down here. Mm, I think I'll go here with it. Oops, let's take out these trees and these trees. Then we need a weaver and a tailor. Probably build the marketplace. Weaver can go there. Tailor need that he doesn't have? Glass. Okay. Oh, we need to modify our shipping lane. Need to return with glass as well. Uh, don't bother leaving anything. Just take it all. Okay, and then uh, Taylor. I think I'll put this down here a little bit. 
We need tools. We have tools. Somebody bring the tools. First cotton made. Nice. I suppose I should build this marketplace someplace. Here would be... Oh, it's three spaces. Holy cow. Well, let me do a road right here. And then... No. Yes. And then that can go right in there. See what they think about that. Still building the weaver and the tailor? What else can we build? That's still the bridge. Okay, that's about all we have new. We need more people here, so let's go ahead and uh, upgrade another house or two. We need more tools for building more houses. Well, but we have 15 tools stored. Okay, now you can go. It doesn't auto refresh. Oh, maybe that house, that hut held four people before, and now it holds five. That's probably why. Am I able to unload here? No. Okay. I only have 15 glass here. Cooking up there that we need to do. Fountains. And fuel. We don't have enough red science for the uh, for the pollution cleaner yet. I'm suspecting that fuel is the next thing we want since we have exactly 40 left. Okay. Did we get... We got our weaver. We might need another power generator. And by might, I mean definitely. Because this thing's not getting the power it needs. It appears. Or... No, that's the green bar. This is it using the unit of power every 60 seconds. There it goes. Okay, I see. They must haul the power? That's weird. wheelbarrow. Here it comes. Yep. They carry the power around. That makes sense. Maybe they put it in batteries. They carry the batteries around. Nice, we got luxury items. That'll help people be happy. Fancy. Okay, how's the tailor going? Still needs stuff. There's the stone. We need one more tool. We're going to low on tools. We're going to have to start mining... More stuff, I think. Uh, what are we storing here? Tools and lots of iron. So we could use another tool smith. Yeah, look at that. Nasty, nasty, nasty pollution. Delicious. Okay. Uh, tools. Here. Smith. Yeah, I think I'll put it up here, because at least it'll pollute a little bit less. Well done. You probably need to make more clothes and sh ship them between your islands to help keep all your peeps happy. Now it's time to leave this planet and truly reclaim what our ancestors left for us. Somewhere on this planet is a ruined spaceship we can repair. It's going to take a lot of work, though, and you might need to discover new things before you can complete the task. Boy, does that sound surprising. Uh, let's see. Toolsmith goes there. Let's get one of those made. And then let me do another house upgrade. Or two. No, oh, we can't do two. Need more tools. There we go. Okay, so the ruined spaceship we found. Obviously, it's right here. Uh, it needs a lot of crap. 
two things of which we have no idea what they even are. So we found it, we need to repair it, and then we need to launch it. We should probably build a scout ship. Okay, so we have now have uh, three more population spots. Right there, that's good. I should have had four of them. I got one other one here. Looks like we could use one more upgraded house. We don't have the tools for it, though. How goes the tool making? I know you hate your job, but what are you going to do? I actually think this is probably a good place to stop the stream. Uh, we're getting ready to explore and find any more land on the planet, so that's a good thing to start out with the next one. And uh, also... Uh, there's, there's, uh, you know, a handful of other tasks. We obviously need to do some more research. Uh, we can unlock one of these that we have left. We have f only 40 red science left, though, so we definitely need to find another island to find more red science. Because we're going to need to unlock a lot more stuff. There's quite the tech tree here. So we'll, we'll get to that in the next stream, which will be tomorrow night at the same time. Let me pause the game here. Let's find someone to raid. Let's see, is anyone playing this? Eve. Surprisingly not. A rerun of someone else playing it, but I see that uh, Kevin Jackson, who we have raided before, is streaming Golf with Friends. So uh, we're going to raid him, and uh, and then I'll be back again tomorrow night at the same time for more of Before We Leave. I guess I should have picked set the raid up first. Okay. So uh, thank you all for joining me, and I will see you all tomorrow night. And then on Sunday for uh, co-op shenanigans. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.